I, I auditioned, um, and I read this one and I was like, oh my God, like I was, I was just obsessed with it. it. Like the character was so great. I loved the story. And I went in and I auditioned with the piece and I had so many reservations about it because like in the actual character description, it says these two are 100% guy. And I was like, well, you're never going to get that role. Like, let's come on now. Like, let's, don't get your hopes up, kid. Um, so I went in there and the audition, it went pretty well. Like I, I was like, you're not going to get this role because of the way that you look. But then I did. And it was like the greatest day of my life because it was my first role as a guy. So, I don't know. Must have seen something. <laughs> Being on testosterone this long and not passing is like the bane of my existence. This is so gross though. Yeah, I need to shave this, but it'll take like a year to come back, so that's why I haven't touched it. Having the confidence to like get up and do a male role when I looked and sounded so female. Because I've been on T for a year and four months now, and I look completely different and sound different than I did before. You can be being told that you smell bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, when I first came out as trans, it was really confusing um, because it kind of happened overnight, honestly. Like, I had questions in my mind, and then one day I, like, woke up, and I was like, well, stop hiding you're trans. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wrote a letter to the administration first. I emailed the people and I was like, first of all, I was convinced that I was going to get kicked out and that they're going to be like, don't come back. Like, just don't do it. And I said, like, I changed my name. I'm transgender. And like, a whole new person is coming back. <laughs> After I graduate, I just intend on hitting the streets and auditioning as much as possible. <laughs>